Hi, good morning. I'm Justin Danhoff with the National Center for Public Policy Research. I want to talk about some potential reforms for ABC News. A study published in January found that the broadcast networks, including ABC, continue to run overwhelmingly negative stories about President Trump. In fact, from last September to January 1st, stories about the president were negative 93% of the time. That's not objective. Meanwhile, the leading Democratic presidential candidates received net positive coverage over that same time period. I think a lot of folks here know a few weeks ago, Project Veritas exposed a video in which ABC News correspondent David Wright admitted that the network bosses regularly spike positive stories about President Trump. He stated, quote, we also don't give Trump credit for the things that he does do. I feel terrible about it. I feel that the truth suffers. The voters are poorly informed. Our bosses don't see an upside in doing the job we're supposed to do. Wright isn't a green journalist, and he's no conservative, and he's not a fan of Trump. He has degrees from Oxford and Harvard, and he identifies himself as a socialist. And who, who can forget when Project Veritas released a video last fall of acclaimed journalist Amy Robach, clearly implying that ABC bosses spiked her story on accused pedophile Jeffrey Epstein because of Epstein's close relationships with Prince Andrew and the Clintons. While she tried to walk back her comments, we all heard the truth. Mr. Chapek, I've been coming to this meeting for years, imploring Mr. Iger to address the extreme anti-conservative bias that runs deep at ABC. I'm asking you to be bold today. Take on this challenge. The public's trust in the mainstream media has just hit another all-time low. And when leaked videos show that your own reporters are frustrated because they're unable to tell the truth on the air, that speaks to a systemic problem at ABC. What steps can you take to return objectivity to ABC News, and when can we expect to see balanced coverage once again on your airways? So interestingly enough, the very first uh, trip I took after I got the new job was to ABC News in New York. And I must say I was overwhelmed by their professionalism and their commitment to objectivity. Uh, in terms of Mr. Wright, uh, you know, he said some things that m made us question his objectivity. And obviously when you're reporting the news, that's uh, no place for somebody who's got a heavy subjective opinion. So internally we dealt with that situation. But uh, I think that ABC News has a stellar track record of being objective uh, in reporting the news, and uh, it'll continue in the future. 